when the Duke and Duchess of Sussex announced they were to step down as senior royals of the royal family. In 2020, they vowed to continue to fully support Her Majesty the Queen but to work to become financially independent. However, according to the royal author Tina Brown, the terms set aside for their exit were hard. Speaking to CBS Sunday Morning, the author of the new book, The Palace Papers, discussed what happened after Megzi and the terms set aside for the former senior royals following their decision to step down. Speaking on CBS Sunday Morning, Ms. Brown said, the terms of the exit were harsh. You know, they didn't get anything they wanted actually. She added, they didn't even get to keep the word royal. Harry was no longer allowed to keep any of his military honors, I mean it was frankly lethal what happened. She pointed out that there was no half, the author then referred to the Sussex's official announcement, where the couple vowed to fully support Her Majesty the Queen. She said, there was one phrase which really stuck out to me when it said that they wanted to continue to collaborate with the Queen on projects. The Queen doesn't collaborate, Shush is not a co-executive producer of a TV show. She commands, right? And you better remember it, and she didn't said Ara, uh, no. She continued, she, the Queen, doesn't do partnerships, no it has previously been reported that the Sussexes were hoping, that once Charles becomes king, they could rejoin the family as part-time royals. Speaking on a previous episode of Royally Us, biographer Tom Quinn said, I think Meghan and Harry are hoping, and I've had this on good authority when the Queen dies, Charles will be open to allowing Harry and Meghan to be part-time royals, which is what they wanted from the start. The relationship between Harry and his father has been strained for some time, especially since his departure from the royal family. During their recent UK pit stop, Harry and Meghan were, reportedly, able to meet with Prince Charles. The trip to the Windsor Castle, earlier this month, was a quick visit on their way to the Netherlands for the Invictus Games. They met with the Queen and it was also reported that, as well as Prince Charles, Camilla was also present for a short while.